بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود آئلس لسننگ اینڈ وی ول ڈو فل ٹیسٹ فورٹی بائی فورٹی کویشچنس اینڈ دا ٹارگٹ از نائن بینڈ فار نائن بینڈ یو نیڈ تھرٹی نائن کریکٹ آنسرس ود ون رانگ آنسر یو کین گیٹ نائن بینڈ اوکے تھرٹی ایٹ کریکٹ آنسرس ایٹ پوائنٹ فائیو بینڈ اینڈ یو کین کیلکولیٹ یور بینڈ اسکور دیر از اے بینڈ کیلکولیٹر یو کین ایزیلی کیلکولیٹ دیر از اویلیبل آن گوگل so uh listening part one in part one mostly we have one word only one word and or a number sometimes part one starts with multiple choice questions and otherwise in part one we may have no more than two words and or a number no more than three words and or a number so we may have a variety of questions in listening part one but mainly one word only <coughs> one word and or a number along with that we may have multiple choice questions okay so even if it is something different don't be afraid uh, part one is going to be the easiest part out of four now let's go on complete the table below we have table completion type of questions so they have given us a table and by the way this sentence will always tell you the type of questions sometimes they write complete the notes below complete the diagram below complete whatever they say it tells us write one word only okay that means there is no number one word only means answer is going to be just a single word without any article without any number it's just a single word okay health centers now i want you to switch on your imagination and start thinking about health centers health center is more like a dispensary in our country or a small hospital where you can go and get the treatment of certain diseases that is more like a health center in the table there are always columns sometimes two columns sometimes three columns and otherwise maximum four columns right uh, so first one is name of center and by the way there is only one question and that is the name of second center after that we have doctor's name and there is only one question question number 4 okay and uh, if the name is unusual they will spell it for you and you will write the spelling and uh, the third column is about advantage and how many questions are there two uh, two questions here in advantage right there is no, no, nothing like third one okay now it's very important to track the audio if you don't track the audio sometimes answer may slip maybe answer will go uh, and then you will not be able to catch it if you don't track the audio so make sure your one hand is tracking the audio and one hand is writing the answers this finger is going to track your audio and this hand is going to write down the answer if you are left hander then you can use the other one right uh, anyways uh, this is comfortable health center they will talk about harvey clinic they will talk about dr green right dr green or purple or orange or brown or yellow whatever now when they say after dr green now you have to be alert because in the next thing is advantage for advantage they can use any word and even sometimes they don't use the word advantage they talk about advantage right especially good with now especially good with and we are talking about a doctor it means that doctor is specialized in something especially good with means specialized in something or he is good at some disease especially good with blood pressure especially good with heart problem or heart or anything like that okay so let's see what it is please listen carefully and tell me the answer when audio stops not during that don't be over excited and yell the answer in the class this is how others will be affected by this let's start You will hear a man asking for information about health services in the place where he is living. Can I help you? Yes, I've just moved to this area with my wife and children and I'd like to know where we can all register with a doctor at a health center. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh well there's Dr. Green at the Harvey Clinic. We always recommend her for babies because she's very good with them and she runs a special clinic. we always recommend her for the babies. babies now this is the small baby okay yeah uh, so answer is going to be babies how do you spell that b a b i e s absolutely now what is the wording that they use please focus again you will hear a man asking for information about health services 
in the place where he is living. And by the way, in the beginning of every section, they will tell you what the audio is going to be about. As in this audio, you say you will hear a man asking about this, that. So in the beginning of every section, they are going to tell you what the audio is all about. Can I help you? Yes, I've just moved to this area with my wife and children, and I'd like to know where we can all register with a doctor at a health center. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, there's Dr. Green at the Harvey Clinic. We always recommend her for babies because she's very good with them. We always recommend her for the babies, so especially good with and recommend her and all that. Now there are two languages. One is the language of audio, which you hear. One is the language of question booklet, which you read. So if you understand, these two languages are similar in meaning, different in wording. So the day when you understand these two languages, you're gonna be fine with IELTS listening. Even the case is same with reading, the language of questions and the language of passage. So once you understand their tricks, that for this thing, for a glass of water, they will use the word container which holds liquids inside. Eh, pagal. They don't use the word simply glass of water, say a container which is used to hold liquids, right? So something like this. So once you understand these two languages, the language written here, and you anticipate if they have written here especially good in the audio, they will use the word expert in, good at, we recommend her for. Once you start expecting that very thing, you'll become uh, good at IELTS listing. And how will this happen? Through practice. When you solve the test and all that. Okay. Question number two, the dash health practice. What is it? The name of center. So they will tell us. Oh, uh, actually, my youngest child is five, so that wouldn't be any good for us. Right. Is there anywhere else I could try? Yes, the Eshkol health practice is the next one on my list. How do you spell that? E S H C O L. E S H C O L, Ashkel, right? And one more thing. If you are comfortable writing your answers in small letters, capital letters, and all that, I would recommend you to write however you want to write. Capital letters, small letters, all small, there is no problem at all. But when you transfer your answers to the answer sheet, especially listening and reading, there you have to use all capital. Over here, if you are comfortable with small letters, just write all small letters. But there is one more piece of advice. Whenever they spell anything, write it in capital letters. You know why? Later on, you will fail to read your own handwriting. Yeah. So C will become E and O will become E or anything like that. So whenever they spell it, try to use capital letter or write very, very clearly. This question booklet you are holding, no one is going to check that. So if you make a mistake, don't erase it. Cross it, right? Even don't cross it, write it again. Write it second time so that you are clear about it. So make sure your handwriting should be readable to you after 25 minutes of listening test, okay? Let's go on. Dr. Fuller is the name and after that offers dash appointments. Now offers dash appointments means it's the type of appointments that he offers. Offers dash appointments. So the word will come with appointments and they may replace appointment also with some other thing, right? Kind of appointments that doctor offers, okay? And it's Dr. Fuller who has space on his list. The clinic only opened a year ago, so the facilities are all very modern. That sounds good. Hmm. And it's particularly good if you're busy during the day because they also do appointments in the evening. Hmm. They're closed on Saturday, though. They do appointments in the evening. evening. So that means offers evening appointments. Now, understand the language? They do uh, appointments in the evening. That means do means offers. And appointment is appointment and evening will be the right answer. All clear? Good. Let's go on. In part one, there is no room for mistake. You must gain, get 10 by 10 in part one, right? And even part two as well. Try to get 20 here. In part three, you're likely to commit some mistakes because of multiple choice, matching, speed of the audio. And then in part four also, you need to catch everything up and you should try to get 10 by 10 in part four. And that will give you still eight band score in listening. Even if you make four or five mistakes, you can get eight band, right? Let's go on. Questions uh, four. 
It's the short lane. You don't need to read short lane, but just listen to it. Doctor, and then there is that. So listen in the table. Now, very important point. In the table, what is written above the question or below the question, that will give you a very clear hint what is going to be the answer. Now, when you look at question four, above you can see Dr. Filler, Dr. Green. It means answer is going to be the name. When you look at question number two, you understand it's the name of the center. Okay, so let's see what is the name of the doctor. The only other place on the list is the health centre on Shaw Lane. You can register with Dr Gormley. Uh, that's G-O-R-M-L-E-Y. He's new there, but the centre has a very good reputation. OK, Dr Gormley. G-O-R-M or N? M. M. So you should be careful with the letters like M and N. Okay, so they will speak very, very clearly, but you should write it down immediately. So correct answer is Gomley, G-O-R-M-L-E-Y. I play it again. The only other place on the list is the health center on Shaw Lane. You can register with Dr. Gormley. Uh, that's G-O-R-M-L-E-Y. He's okay. new there, but the center has a very good reputation. Yeah, Dr. Gomley, G-O-R-M-L-E-Y, Dr. Gomley, not Gomley. <laughs> Clear? Yes. Okay, now after, after this, they will give you some more time to read questions 5 to 10. First, they will give you time to read questions 1 to 5, 1 to 4. Then they will give you more time. Sometimes they give you time to read questions 1 to 6 and then 7 to 10. Sometimes 1 to 5, 6 to 10. Sometimes 1 to 4. 5 to 10, it depends. But in the middle, they will give you time to read the next questions, okay? So, yeah. 